Welcome back to Good Morning Sri Lanka. We're on the final few minutes of the morning show. We've been talking about breast cancer, which has been the focus area for today. And we were talking about um, therapy, about uh, uh, chemotherapy. We've been talking about basically the whole process. And we've come to almost the end of, of the process. But of course, for those um, cancer patients especially, and families also uh, who have to care for those patients, uh, there's a psychological aspect to it, uh, which of course isn't always uh, easy uh, to cope with. Let's talk a little bit about that also. Yeah, so uh, psychologically, I think that is the biggest uh, biggest problem because the moment you realize there is a there is a breast lump or you know that you have some symptoms say if it is the colon you know you have some uh, bleeding or some alteration in your bowel habits or something you know something is wrong but you don't want to really face it so wh what happens next if one understands what a cancer is uh, you now as we explain the earlier you detect it that is the best thing so if if a patient understands it then that patient will quickly come to a doctor so that the, the process can start early what prevents people from coming is this emotional or psychological uh, scare that we have because i think everywhere you go you people are talking about various types of cancer the scare actually makes people uh, stay away for longer periods which means they are going to become it becomes a later stage cancer so that is the message uh, we want to give we, are, we want to say come to the doctor if you have some significant symptom whether it's a uh, breast symptom or whether it's you know t something related to the colon or you know the other thing is the ovarian cancer we were just talking about it where it's a very silent sort of thing if your family has a breast or ovarian type of cancers yes then please come forward and get these various scans and tumor markers done so psychologically you know one thing is to uh, face the fact that you have a cancer and then also to uh, understand and realize that you need certain types of treatment which actually may you know if it is a breast cancer one the the, the lady might lose the breast so now not only do you have a, a illness or a disease which actually can uh, you know take your life now you have to deal with the <clears throat> psychological aspect of having to uh, have a cosmetic cosmetic insult as well so psychologically that patient is affected then if it is a colonic uh, tumor you one might colonic or rectal actually you know where it real nearly very near to the bottom a, a patient may end up with a what we call a colostomy bag that is lifetime one so permanent colostomy we call it so that is another aspect you know it's not only to deal with the uh, emotional or psychological stress of uh, that having a cancer the treatment of it also has uh, has uh, difficult aspects to it so this is where we need the patient as well as the family and the doctors all the doctors that's why i said multidisciplinary approach involve everyone to make the patient realize that this is probably the best way forward and also to to make him realize that if we don't do it what will happen and what are the options that are available at certain points you may not have uh, an option like a uh, 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 rectal cancer or you know for that matter uh, anal cancer which is very very low down one cannot escape a permanent colostrum but if uh, if uh, that is made the patient and the relatives with their all their support if they are made to understand this then dealing with it becomes easier otherwise sometimes they might stay away and the disease uh, might actually get their life plus you know the morbidity that is the you know the effect on life where you know these these tumors as i said the breast cancer can be like a big wound in the breast you know and it can bleed and you know the quality of life becomes very very low so what we want for the patient is to have the emotional support to deal with the diagnosis as well as what is coming next uh, i think that is very very important that is why we need a support group in in other countries actually they have uh, the, the other patients who have faced similar uh, trauma in the sense other breast cancer patients who have had mastectomies then there are other patients who have had colostomies then there are specialist nurses 
you know, who okay. kind of help you because most often when you're sick or when say you're going through something, you want someone else to reassure you, and preferably someone who's already been through the same thing. Yeah, exactly. So that, that kind of support system. Yeah, exactly. What we're really trying to do today with uh, Dr. Samar Khan here is to really pass out the message to those of you out there who might be in that high risk category to go out, get yourself screened, get yourself checked, be a little brave, don't be too afraid, and we hope that this might have sparked an interest. Perhaps you know someone who should be brave. It's not yourself, maybe it's someone in your family, but. Uh, Take a moment to think about these things because uh, prevention certainly is better than cure. So we're talking to, we've been talking to Dr. Samar Khan. Thank you very much again for being on our show and for all your advice and for your insight into what we've been talking about. And with that, we need to end the show. We'll see you again tomorrow at the same time. Till then, we hope you have an amazing day. Take care. Bye-bye.